Hi everyone and warm welcome back to my channel where I do independent reviews of the items that I find beautiful and useful. And today I would like to review the most used everyday bag that I own. And you can see it on your screen already. It's this bag. It's turned around so you don't really see any logos, but just looking at the model, try to guess what brand and what kind of bag it is. And please put in the comments what your guess was. I'm really curious. But to me, personally, this bag is very similar to Saint Laurent shopping tote. But it isn't that. It's a way cheaper alternative, but also, I would say, way more classy alternative. Well, at least to me, the design looks even better than that bag. So let's turn it around and you will see that it's a coach bag. So it's a coach zip tote in um, cross grain leather. And I've been using it for way over two years now. And let's start the review and I will show you both some close up, what fits inside and why did I even choose this particular bag and not some fancier, more expensive version. So I will start by sharing that this bag has a very simple and elegant design. As you can see, it's basic shape. Uh, it doesn't have any extra parts on its body, but I really like that you can put a little silk bow here and it changes the look completely. And you can match the twilly with your outfit of the day. So you can basically choose any twilly that you want to have on it. And it gives a really nice accent. The bag is very versatile. Uh, I mean, you can wear it this side or that. If you want the logo to not be visible, you can just twist it around. This bag I really love. It's my everyday saver. It has such a simple design, but very elegant. It's got a very good structure, quality of leather, fits plenty of stuff. You can wear it both open like that, or you can use a zipper and close it fully. So it's like that. And inside there's one big compartment and I'm actually using an organizer in this bag. Let me show you what it is. I've ordered the organizer on Etsy and I can link it in the description of the video, but it's a very practical, simple insert like that with pockets. So I usually put like uh, my mouse here, a wallet, uh, some snacks, um, some cosmetics like lipstick or your hairbrush, some napkins, and then it's filled. And I also usually put my laptop inside so it fits like that uh, and uh, into the bag. I will show you how the bag looks when there's no insert or organizer inside. So there's just one big compartment and a smaller pocket here. So let me put the insert into the bag and uh, I will put my laptop inside as well. But keep in mind that even if I didn't have the insert inside, the structure of the bag was really good anyway. So it's more to organize my items uh, that I use it. So here we are, voila, laptop is in. I can also close the zipper, even with the laptop inside. And here you have it. Quick video from the airport, where I am actually traveling with this bag for the whole week. So let me share very quickly uh, what I've packed. I'm visiting my mom. I have gloves, some uh, cosmetics. I have a laptop with me. And there are some clubs here as well. Then if I take this pouch away, you can see that I also have charger. I have my uh, mouse. I also have Cartier travel pouch with me. But there's one part that you will ha have it hard to believe, but it's true. If I remove my gloves and cosmetics, have a look. I have one kilo of cheese here, which I know my mom loves, so I bought it to her. <laughs> so. A laptop, even one kilo of cheese, cosmetics, pouch, and some gloves. And I mean, this is how practical this bag is. <laughs> and look also how good it looks here. Awesome. And also have this wallet on chain from Celine with me, in which I have only my passport, phone, and cards. So let me show you some close ups. Here you can see how beautiful is this uh, grained leather that the bag is made of. It's really nice quality. Uh, 
the stitching and the hardware is also uh, really good quality. Now, if we look at the straps, they also are of a great quality. And after frequent wear, they still don't show any signs of wear that I can note. Then inside, there's, there's a leather lining. I personally don't like this lining because uh, marks are visible very easily. But I am using an insert inside, so uh, it helps to protect the bag. And uh, as you can see, it's plenty of space. So, so why did I choose this particular bag and not some uh, other tote? For example, Saint Laurent tote, which is very similar to this. Um, well, there are many totes that are pretty and in similar design. But I think that price and performance or the value for money for this bag is, is the best, considering that I'm carrying laptop usually, some other stuff. And I'm also among many people very often in, in meetings and so on, where it's a bit inappropriate to show off some logos. Well, I, I don't know how is it in other countries or, or continents, if you are watching this video outside of Europe, but in Scandinavia, where I live, in, in Sweden, it kind of gives the impression of a bad style and uh, not classy attitude, I would say. If you would Google for a Scandinavian street style or fashion, you would see that people appreciate extremely good quality, but more timeless items that don't scream a big logo, but it could be some very expensive things, it could be a high fashion designer stuff, but usually it's more like this overall picture that people look into and not the particular logo. But Coach is a very neutral brand. And by the way, there was some kind of tag that you, you know, one can attach to the bag that I've removed and whatever brand it would be, I want to keep that minimal. I wouldn't mind removing even this, this logo because ultimately what I was drawn to is the classic, simple, but well-shaped and good quality item. And when I want, I can put this twilly on this side and then it's a blank but very elegant and well-structured bag, which, which I think works perfectly with many outfits and it really serves purpose. Another question could be, why didn't I purchase like Louis Vuitton tote? And first of all, I don't even like that brand. Second, I don't like the show of logos. I think that the item quality should speak for itself. It's form, shape, um, but not a logo. <laughs> If you would Google, for example, Yves Saint Laurent or Prada Tote uh, uh, and put each of them next to each other and would consider which has a better look and then consider the price, I would say this is extremely good value for money. This is my probably cheapest bag. It was around uh, 300 euros, maybe even less. But the leather quality is uh, incredible. The only drawback is that there's no feet on the bottom and uh, the corners may be a bit sensitive with the time, although I don't have much wear and tear so far. I don't see any big wear and tear yet, but uh, eventually it will come. So, I mean, this is a very easy, uh, simple, timeless tote that I can combine with plenty of outfits, which I'm never worried about. So I really like it. <laughs> what do you think? And uh, I wonder what's your best and favorite uh, tote for items like laptop? and other bigger belongings. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Bye.